Hey folks, welcome back to BizTalk. My name is Rick Gutierrez, your host and your business advocate. Hey, when I tell you that we've got some really great uh, you know, people coming on board, these are people that have been in business for a long time and we are having great conversations. And you know, I've got another guest that is just gonna highlight uh, a particular challenge that she is launching and you know we're just gonna have a great conversation about what we've got coming up and what she's cooking so uh, Nora welcome back to the show Mark, thank you so much for having me absolutely it's like we were talking about you know off air we kind of have a uh, recruiting weekly meeting you and I because we're, uh, we're almost you know meeting every single week so but it's great because we have great conversations and we're helping people along the way as well absolutely all right, so let's get started by having this conversation about this uh, challenge that you guys are launching. I mean, you guys are working for nonprofit organizations, doing some really great things, helping them out with all of their finances, their books, you know, getting them all in order, make sure that they have everything in line. But you've got something that's really special that's going to help nonprofits. So let's talk about that. Tell us all about that. Sure. So one of the most challenging uh, subjects for nonprofit is really uh, sustainability, staying, having funds all year long at all time. If you think about it, nonprofit is, um, should be actually a recession proof, um, inflation proof. They shouldn't have no problem, but this is in one condition, under one condition, when they have their donor base. So in this challenge, we are going to have a five days challenge. So we're going to identify their ideal donors. We're going to help them uh, craft their impact statement, tell them how should they connect with their ideal donors in order to have that, start building that donor base. So um, that is the most challenging aspect because people think when they start a nonprofit, they have to go get grants and grants only portion of uh, nonprofit funding. They should diversify their funding. And in my opinion, what I love the uh, the part of donations is the individual donors. Now people uh, get really tired and they don't want to ask people to donate money. But the way we're going to be teaching them on that challenge, it's going to be how to identify your ideal donors, people who are looking for you. You don't have to go look for them they are looking for you they want to find you but you're going to help them find you and those people are going to stay dedicated for your organization staying uh, loyal and will be happy to give you more money but in order to do that you have to build your capacity so in this challenge we're going to introduce the main things that you have to maintain as a nonprofit. We're going to give you homework. So it's going to be five days starting July 23rd. That's going to be Tuesday. We're going to start at um, 11, 11, yeah, 11 a.m. Central. It's one hour every day until Saturday. So Tuesday until Saturday. And then on Saturday, there's a chance to be a VIB. When you are a VIB, you're gonna have um, a session, a private session, like group session with me, and we're going to send you a copy of my book, and uh, you get to ask me questions during that VIB session. So I'm very excited for this challenge. I have never done it before, but I know like I am one of these people who are really, uh, really get excited with the challenge. When you have a challenge, I wanna be the first one, and I'm hoping to attract those people who really wants to be number one and want to actually get their nonprofit to as, uh, next level. Absolutely. So there are so many different strategies that, you know, nonprofit organizations can go, but I believe that this is a great way of generating uh, sponsors, donors, and, and getting where you need to be because, you know, with this challenge, you know, we wish that everything could come easy, but it doesn't come easy. We all have to work at what we want, you know, to get in, you know, to get what we want in life. And so it's no different in business. In business, we definitely do want to, you know, put all of the effort forward, get with, you know, specialized uh, experts that can show us the way, potentially give us some homework, and that's fine, but we have to do the work. We have to do the work and we have to get it done. So I appreciate that you are putting that together and it's the first time for everything, right? You say it's your first one, but I think it's the first of many. Yes, exactly. I'm very excited. I usually have 
um, a master class where I stay with people like two hours, but I'm like, okay, enough with this class start for now. Let's do the challenge because this is the time for nonprofits mm -hmm. to to prepare because there's a study issued last year on the 2022 uh, year of 2022 that uh, says 64% of funding comes from individual donations. And not only that, more 30% of funding comes to organization on December. So in December, you get a chance to get 30% of funding and then 10% in the last three days of the year. So there's no better time for the nonprofit organization to start building their donor base, to start hyping up their uh, fundraising effect because December is not here. We have like almost six or five months to go. So you still have time to be prepared. Absolutely. So five months are going to go by really fast, right? So we are, you know, at the right time in the right place right now where we've got the expert that can lead us in, you know, getting organized and, and getting all of that stuff done. So um, it is the right time. I believe that you starting this challenge is, is the right time right now. Five months gives us plenty of time to, to get with you, do your challenge and get all of that, all of that done. So let's talk a little bit more about uh, Nora's books because, you know, this challenge is being sponsored obviously by Nora's books, right? So uh, for those that have not, you know, watched the show before and have not heard of Nora's books before, tell us a little about your organization and how you help those nonprofits with your uh, Nora's book services. So Nora's books is tax and accounting uh, firm and we do have a coaching arm for the firm. So we do help nonprofit organizations as a fractional CFO. So we do offer CFO services for nonprofits. We do offer bookkeeping. Uh, we do offer tax preparation. We do start nonprofit organization if someone wants to start. We also, um, we also reinstate the exempt status if someone needs to reinstate the exempt status because a lot of organizations lose their exempt status, unfortunately, for various reasons. The most common reason is they're not filing taxes and they start getting those penalties. So we help them reinstate that. And if they have a problem with the IRS or penalty, we can help them communicate with the IRS to hopefully um, remove those penalties and getting them um, waived so they can work on that and then we help them also to build their donor base um, through the seven figure nonprofit mastermind it's a 12 month coaching program we have uh we developed like through my 20 years plus in experience with nonprofits i put everything i learned into that coaching program where um, you can access the program and uh, there's a recording there are tools in the, in the when you log into the program there's a lot of tools and strategies you can apply and i don't want to leave people who enter that program alone. so i hold their hands in order for 12 months so i'm available for them in group coaching call and in the community as well to help them implement the strategies correctly and uh, take their nonprofit to the next level. This, uh, this is the signature program. I do have also different courses for nonprofits and for tax professionals or tax and accounting professionals who would like to um, offer services for nonprofits because nonprofit is really an area that does not get a lot of attention from tax and accounting professionals. So, and a lot of in education basis, people don't have a lot of knowledge about it. I took an exam for with the CPA when I was getting my CPA and an exam when I was getting my enrolled agent. And both of them actually do not cover nonprofits well enough. While if you go look at the IRS website, you find um, the entire section, like it's a huge section, even bigger than the business and individual session, in my opinion. <laughs> Right. for nonprofit for charity organizations so it's a lot of compliance work it's a lot of things so i did offer this training for the, they are available online you can on demand people can access them for both nonprofit and and, and uh, tax and accounting prof professional who wants to work with nonprofits so that's mainly what we are focusing on right now. Of course, we still do bookkeeping and CFO services for business owners because we believe also you can make an impact in your business, in your own business. You don't have to be a nonprofit to make an impact. 
So we do have a variety of service and the best way to get in touch with me actually to get to, to book a call and see how we can work with you and what we can uh, offer. That is the reason why I wanted you to showcase, you know, Nora's books and what you guys do and what you guys focus on because it is an amazing uh, platform. It is an amazing service. Um, it's basically a one-stop shop for nonprofits and businesses, you know, in general, um, to get all of their books in order and to get them on. You know, Nora, we always have a great conversation every time you come to the show. I want to thank you for coming on to the show once again. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's always fun to be here with you. Likewise, it's always fun. It's always a great conversation, and I'm sure this won't be the last time. So we'll see you again uh, in an upcoming episode. See you then. All right. All right, folks, that is it for this segment. We are going to go into a quick commercial break. Stay right there. We'll be right back.